Undisputed. We are live from LA. I'm Jenny Tatch here with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Good morning. How are we guys? Good morning. Good morning. Jenny. Oh, go. Oh, go work it over time. Oh, go. This double pay, Skip Bayless. This double pay. When you work over time, you get double pay. <laughs> Are we talking about the GOAT, quote unquote, LeBron James, who still can't figure out how to make a last second shot? That GOAT? The, 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 yeah, the man 30 feet out, he got a double punch, uh, a double, a double pump. So Detroit and now Oklahoma City, and he can't make the last shot? Well, I know no. a guy that couldn't make the last shot either. Huh? You remember him? The so-called best player? Oh, we're talking about that? <laughs> Maybe uh, LeBron did need overtime, but uh, he got it done. We're going to get to that. Don't you worry. But a different GOAT, guys, has issued an apology. And I think that's where we begin the show today. Tom Brady reportedly sent a text message to Chief Safety Tyron Matthew after the Super Bowl apologizing for losing his composure when they were talking trash. Brady told Honey Badger that he was trying to match his intensity and he respected him as a competitor and was a class act. So Shannon, are you buying Tom's apology here? This apology was as scripted as everything else in Tom Brady's life. The reason why I know it was scripted because I'm trying to figure out what you said. No one knows what you said. Only you, you and Honey Badger knows what you were saying. But somehow you, the apology, got out and was read verbatim. What was what was said? What the apology was said? I'm a firm believer, Skip. If you say something publicly that you should apologize for, that's the form it should be. The apology should come in. If it says if it's something in private that you've done, mm -hmm. you should apologize to that person in private, and only you and the person. Now, if that person, if Honey Badger wants to say Tom apologized, it probably explains, Skip, why the tweet was deleted. Remember, he said something, Skip, and the tweet came down. This probably explained why. All I'm saying is this, Skip, is that I believe the apology was scripted just like everything else because for me, he could have got a pass on this because you could say the emotion of the game, the intensity of the game, Skip, it's the Super Bowl. You know, emotions are high in this mm -hmm. situation. So what was said, as long as it's not out of bounds, you know, you don't, you know, we know there are certain words that you mm -hmm. can't say no matter the circumstances. Yep. So I, I, I'm not going to even, not, I would not even put that out there that Tom would say something like that. But the mere fact that Tom apologized, I don't have a problem with him apologizing. I'm, I'm, I have a problem with it being became, becoming public, Skip. Mm. That's what my problem is. And the reporter, it was read aloud. Now, because <laughs> I know... By, by whom? The reporter... Uh, uh, I, I know, but, but who read the, the text aloud? Well, considering there's a chance that I know it didn't come from the other side. You sure? Because I don't. I know one thousand percent, and I put my and I put my reputation on it. Percent. Skip Bayless, okay. let me tell you something. You know how I operate. Mm. You know I don't really. I have a lot of stuff, and I don't even say anything about it. Mm. But you know when Shannon Sharp attaches name to something, yeah, you take it to the bank. Okay. It's good. All right. It didn't come. Okay. It came from his side. Okay. From Tom Brady's side. Yes. So nobody in Honey Badger camp would have said, we want the world to know that he did apologize to us because he deleted the tweet because he felt like he was going into deep water. He's challenging the goat publicly, and then he deleted the tweet because he wasn't sure, uh-oh, they're going to throw me under the bus for they even are, going back at they, him. They had already thrown him under the bus. That's why he tweeted what he tweeted. Okay. He said well, he, he said th it in the tweet. Exactly. He me under and the he, bus. So why would you delete it? Because Why the, wouldn't you just stand by it? The apology came. He apologized. Okay, but the apology came, I think, yesterday. But the tweet got deleted right after the game. I, I'm saying this. I do not believe, and I feel very comfortable in saying, mm -hmm. Honey Badger's side didn't release this. Okay. I just don't know. I have no idea. Okay. But well, I, I feel comfortable in saying okay. what I said. All right. Now, I'm going to feel very comfortable in saying what I've said about Tom Brady for about 15 years on national TV. No one can quite figure out from a distance why he is so successful as he is at the highest level. And I keep saying if you watch him closely enough, you see that he has a split personality when he plays football. You see he has an alter ego that I have dubbed psycho Tom and it comes out on the biggest stages in the biggest games with the biggest stakes because he is high strung emotionally he is over emotional to the to the point that he is Jordan-esque he is cold-blooded killer football killer 
camouflaged as this corny, nerdy dad next door off the field. And that guy's real also. But when, when the stakes are highest, he will exchange fire with anybody when it comes to trash talk. When the stakes are highest, he will occasionally just lose his head. It doesn't affect his play. It actually, he channels it. He fuels his play with the psycho Tom who, who sees the slightest of slights as, as some kind of uh, challenge to his manhood. And that game was all about him putting the quote unquote baby goat back in his place and getting revenge on Bill Belichick. And to me, Honey Badger, for whom I think Tom Brady has nothing but respect, got caught in the crossfire of Psycho Tom and Mahomes and Psycho Tom and the, the, the aura of Bill Belichick hanging over this game. So all that was going in his head at the time that he did that? Yeah, he just loses. There is no head. He loses it, man. And I've seen him. He'll go off on anybody, any pass rusher. If, if you want to exchange fire with him, he will fire back at you, and it will not be a pretty sight. And th this is why I call him the ultimate wolf in sheep's clothing, because he is a crazed competitor, just the way Jordan was when he competed. They're very similar in, in the way they channel their anger into their performance. But once the game ends, he suddenly sits back, and it's like he falls back into his other ego, his split personality, which is nice guy Tom off the field. And nice guy Tom, by all accounts, I've told you this a thousand times on the show, Nice guy Tom is legit 1,000% nice guy. And I believe that he sits back and says, God, what did I do? I, I love Honey Badger. He, he'd spoken nothing but glowing praise of Honey Badger. And he said, I guess this is part, part of this text, that he felt like he had a match emotion with, with Honey Badger, who plays with extreme intensity, and it's very contagious for his team. And Brady's like, I got to match that. I got to bring my team up to a boil just like that. Yeah, Tom Brady's the guy that goes to bed, mm -hmm. and he writes down everything that he's going to say the next mm -hmm. day. Any situation okay. that'll possibly arise, everything is scripted. Think he, do you think he scripted what he said to Honey Badger? Oh, he, no, 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 During the game, I'm just telling you, he loses his head. I get it. You, I got brand protection. I got the whole thank thing. You, okay? Thank I, you. Thank you. I got it. It's it's not like Jordan-esque brand protection because those are but he, big but, brands. But, Skip, he has a brand that's – think about it now, Skip. You're talking about a, a, a white married father of mm -hmm. three. Yep. That plays the quarterback position. Okay. That brand is as polished – and as, okay. as pristine okay. as it could possibly be. Okay. But the, my thing is, is that you feel very comfortable saying Tom Brady and his camp didn't put this out. I feel, no, I don't know. I, I didn't say that. Oh, I said I don't have any idea. I feel, I feel more okay. than comfortable okay. saying that the other side, the okay. other camp did not put it out. I feel right. more than comfortable. Okay. Well, you well could be right because I would think Tom Brady would want this out there that he was ashamed, that he was embarrassed by his language that he used to Honey Badger. Because I believe of all the chiefs on the other side, that's the one guy he respects the most on that defense. But my thing is, here's the thing. Had he lost the game, would he have apologized? Because this is what we know in Super Bowls. When he loses, he doesn't okay. shake the corporal right. the quarterback's hand. Okay. So I'm just, so skip. So, I, I have no idea. Hypothetical. I have no well, idea. No, no, we, we've seen him lose three games and not shake the opposing quarterback's hand. That's not I mean, hypothetical. That's, that's, that's factual. Not, but that's not apologizing for something well, I, you said. Skip, I just ask a question. Okay. Had he lost, would Maybe he have not. apologized? I, I told you he's the sorest loser there ever was because show me a good loser and I'll show you a loser. Oh, hold on. So he lost. Uh, he's only won seven out of ten. But, but, so, wow. but, but he has lost. Yeah. He has lost, and he lost two in between when he run the last four. So don't say because yeah. he's a so show me a loser. I show, yeah, you show well, me a good I'll show you a loser. Skip, I'll he show you. lost. Yeah, I, I saw him throw for a, a playoff record, not a Super Bowl, a playoff record, 505 yards against the Eagles, and his coach is giving up 41 see, to the see, backup. See, it's 41, always, it's and always, you give his coach a pass. No, I didn't it's give outrageous. Skip, skip, skip. It's, it's the worst thing that's ever been done skip, on this show. Skip. You're giving Belichick passes for those games. I don't give a pass for the first Eli Super Bowl. Skip. Are you going to give